Hi, welcome back to the channel. The fuel pump is a critical component in any vehicle's fuel system, responsible for delivering fuel from the tank to the engine. When a fuel pump fails to receive power, it can leave a vehicle stranded and unable to start. Understanding the causes, diagnosis, and solutions for a fuel pump not getting power is essential for both car owners and mechanics. Before going into power-related problems, it's important to understand the basics of fuel pumps. In modern vehicles, the fuel pump is typically located inside the fuel tank and is an electric pump. It operates on the vehicle's 12-volt electrical system and is designed to maintain consistent fuel pressure to the engine ensuring proper performance across various operating conditions. Now, let's explore the causes of fuel pump power loss. The fuel pump circuit is protected by a fuse and often controlled by a relay. If either of these fails, the pump won't receive power. Many vehicles have an inertia switch that cuts power to the fuel pump in the event of a collision. This switch can sometimes malfunction or be triggered accidentally. Damaged, corroded, or loose wiring between the fuse box, relay, and fuel pump can interrupt the power supply. While this isn't strictly a power supply issue, a burned-out pump motor can appear as if it's not receiving power. If the ignition switch fails to send the signal to activate the fuel pump relay, the pump won't receive power. In some vehicles, the engine control unit controls the fuel pump. The malfunctioning ECU can prevent the pump from receiving power. While less common, a weak or dead battery can sometimes provide enough power to turn the engine over, but not enough to operate the fuel pump. Diagnosing a fuel pump that's not receiving power involves a systematic approach. Turn the key to the on position without starting the engine. You should hear a brief whirring sound from the fuel tank area as the pump primes the system. If you don't hear this, it could indicate a power issue. Locate the fuel pump fuse in the vehicle's fuse box. Consult the owner's manual for its location. Visually inspect the fuse and replace it if blown. The fuel pump relay can be tested by swapping it with an identical relay, often used for other systems in the vehicle, or by using a multimeter to check for proper operation. Check for any visible signs of damage, corrosion, or loose connections in the wiring leading to the fuel pump. This typically involves accessing the fuel pump through an access panel in the vehicle's floor or by dropping the fuel tank. Using a multimeter, check for 12-volt power at the pump connector when the key is turned on. Locate the inertia switch, often found in the trunk or under the dashboard, and ensure it hasn't been tripped. Reset it if necessary. Use an OBD scanner to check for any error codes that might indicate an ECU or electrical system issue affecting the fuel pump. Once the cause of the power loss has been identified, the appropriate repair can be made. If the fuse is blown, simply replace it with one of the same amperage rating. If it blows again immediately, there may be a short circuit that needs to be addressed. If the relay is faulty, Replace it with a new one of the same specification. Damaged wiring should be repaired or replaced. Corroded connections can often be cleaned and protected with dielectric grease. If the pump itself has failed, it will need to be replaced. This often involves dropping the fuel tank, which can be a complex job. A faulty ignition switch will need to be repaired or replaced, which may require steering column disassembly. Issues with the ECU may require specialized diagnostic equipment and expertise. In some cases, the ECU may need to be reprogrammed or replaced. If the inertia switch is the culprit, it can usually be reset. If it's faulty, it will need to be replaced. While some fuel pump power issues are unavoidable, proper maintenance can help prevent many problems. Use quality fuel. Contaminants in fuel can damage the pump over time. Keep the fuel tank at least quarter full. The fuel in the tank helps cool the pump, and running it low can cause premature wear. Replace the fuel filter regularly. A clogged filter can cause the pump to work harder, potentially leading to failure. Address check engine lights promptly. 
Early warning signs can help prevent more serious issues. Avoid electrical modifications. Amateur electrical work can sometimes interfere with the fuel pump circuit. A fuel pump not receiving power can be a frustrating problem, but understanding the potential causes and diagnostic steps can help in quickly identifying and resolving the issue. While some repairs may require professional assistance, many fuel pump power problems can be diagnosed and even repaired by a knowledgeable car owner with basic tools. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, share, and subscribe to this channel for more informative videos.